Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Automation with Arnab. Hello, I am Arnab. Hope you guys are doing very well. So in my Selenium series, I have already discussed about the Selenium in detail and also in my last two videos, I have discussed that how to use testing with your Selenium code. Now, you guys can see in my screen that that is Cucumber framework. So today I'll show you that how you can use Cucumber with your Selenium code along with the testing. Okay, so before going to the detail of how to use Cucumber, so I'm just giving a brief idea of Cucumber framework. And even though before that one, so there are different testing frameworks are available in the market. That is a linear automation framework, modular based testing framework, library architecture testing framework, data driven framework, which is very famous, keyword driven framework, hybrid testing framework. And the last one and the latest that is BDD, behavior driven development framework okay so what is bdd so in our companies and in this uh, this recent days we are hearing about that bdd 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 what is bdd actually so so many times we are getting confused at what is bdd okay so bdd is a technique of agile software development approach bdd use human readable descriptions okay of software uh, user requirements actually so when we are just think about that when we are testing anything if and we are doing the automation so we are writing codes but it's very difficult for any anyone who is a non-technical guy suppose like that someone from the business or someone from the customer side it's very difficult for them to understand what we are writing and what we are trying to achieve using uh, writing the codes actually and what's the approach we are taking to test the software so instead of doing that one so BDD gives us that flavor that we can write our test steps or test scenarios in a human readable in a natural language like in English. Okay. So I think if you have seen the Cucumber feature file, how they are writing. So just like that. So here I'll show you guys that in detail. But uh, in the using the BDD, BDD sets a way actually where we can write our test steps actually and what we are trying to achieve, what we are going to do and how we will test the software, the, all the steps and scenario in a very normal language, in a plain English text. Okay, so that's the BDD flavor actually. And what's the benefits? There are certain benefits are available. So that's focusing on the uh, defining behavior rather than defining the test actually. So using the BDD, okay, we are just focusing on the behavior of the software. Okay, just not only the test. Okay, enhance the communication among the members of cross-functional product team that I have already mentioned that there is a product team. So there can be a product manager, scrum master, the business. So they, everyone can understand also the developers also. They can also understand what, how we are going to test actually. So all the details help reach, uh, helps reach a wider audience by use of the non-technical language. And I already mentioned that enables you to understand how the system should perform from the developers and the customer's perspective. This one also I have mentioned that the improvement of the quality of the code could result in reduced cost of maintenance and also minimize the project associated risks. Okay. So these are certain benefits are available also to use uh, use of uh, PDD and that's a very uh, popular one is that Cucumber. Okay. There is also another one is that uh, you can say that is a Jasmine is there. You can use Pegflow also. Okay. For Java, we are preferring that Cucumber one. So let's start implementing, how to implement. So I'll show you guys from the very scratch actually, just from the creating the Maven project also. So let's start. So this is my Eclipse. Okay, let's close everything. Okay, from the scratch, I'll show you and in the video description, you guys will get all the steps or if you don't one more thing don't skip the video try to follow each and every steps actually okay here from new i'll create a maven project so before uh, starting this one i'm assuming that the java is already installed in your system and also maven is also installed and set up is ready okay and yes Till my last video, I have used IntelliJ as an ID, but for this one, I am showing in Eclipse because IntelliJ in my all video, I have shown that how to use my create project and Maven, how to use, uh, how to add dependencies and all. That's why in this one, I am going to use Eclipse so that people can you uh, be handy with 
all of the these two id these two are very popular id actually okay so just uh, check this one create a simple project next give a group, group id like that um, cucumber selenium BDD okay. Project has been created. The first is that to add the details in form. So I'm just copying from this one. So I'll upload the code base into my GitHub. Uh, and I'll share the GitHub link with in the video description so that you guys can download everything. Okay. Okay, here I can show you that this, these are the dependencies for Cucumber. This is the dependency for Selenium. This is for WebDriver Manager. This is for TestNG. And this is for Apache Common I have used and these are the plugins. So why I have used plugins? I have used plugins because I'll show you guys that how to run the test this full project from the Maven end also, not only using the test engine. Okay, that's why you will require these two, this compiler and the Surefire plugin. Okay, next is that if you are installing eclipse first time so you have to install two things two plugins actually so how you can install the plugins just go to the help go to the eclipse marketplace be sure that internet is connected in your system and it should not be with a proxy okay if you have a proxy or something i'll show you guys later that how to set up the proxy in eclipse so it will take some time to load the marketplace it's like a app store kind of thing okay here you can search for test ng and enter so it will uh, show you that is uh, what are the plugins are available for test ng so it's already installed in my for my eclipse so that's why it is showing that as i installed and then for cucumber also it is installed in my eclipse okay so what why these are required so for to run as a test ng test the to your project as a test ng test to run the test ng files you need the test ng plugins to be installed in your id it's exactly same like intellij intellij also you have to install the uh, test ng plugins and for cucumber so why it's required for cucumber because to identify the feature file to use the flavor of feature file that's why we need this one uh and also once it will be installed so you don't have to write the step definitions files by your own okay if the step definitions are not available methods are not available it will eclipse will automatically get generated for will generate for you okay and you can use that so it will be very easy for easy to use actually okay so next is that so our project is ready next what we will do uh okay so under the resource folder so it's a very good thing in eclipse that everything when you create the maven using the maven uh, project using create the maven it will create all the folder structure in a very good way okay so it is already it has been already created the resource folder and everything so under the test resources this is a source folder so i'll create a folder okay you can create or you cannot create that's up to you i'll create a folder called features so under this folder i will create uh, i'll create a file sample and i'll give the extension as a feature so when you will use cucumber so the file extension will be dot feature you have to create a file with uh, extension dot feature because the cucumber files is called as a feature file so when you will create a fee dot feature file so 
base this is a, a sample feature file will get created sample things will get created okay if you don't have any idea on cucumber so i can tell you that here so in cucumber there are some certain um, keywords are available we have to use using those keywords people can understand that one okay so it's very good thing in eclipse that when we, why it, all these things are coming because i have you installed the cucumber plugin that's why it's coming so as a author you can give your details or, or not so keyword summary they have already added the keyword summary all the keywords they have given feature so once you will create a feature file you have to start the feature file with a keyword as a feature and colon so what you have to give this one so a feature file can consist multiple scenarios it's not mandatory you have to write only one scenarios it one feature file can contain multiple scenarios okay and one scenario contains a proper test scenario content multiple steps okay so that's why a feature consists of list of scenarios and here you can see that just when you will use the keyword it will the color will get changed so you can understand that the it is a keyword okay and after that you can give your title what based on your requirement based on your suppose you are testing uh, here i'll go into use i'll search for google so insert something in google so i'm going to uh, i can give the title of the feature like that uh, search anything in google okay and it can be long there is no limitations of character or anything next is that that is scenario okay so when a test scenario should be start with a keyword scenario or scenario outline so i'll tell later what is the difference okay so scenario means that here you will mention the what is the scenario you are going to test okay search text in google that's it next is that given given when then and but these are the uh, keywords for to write the steps okay given when some prediction step when some key actions then to observe outcome or validations so you can see this one they have already given this one given i want to write a step with precondition and some other precondition when i complete action and some other action and yet another action then i validate outcomes and check more outcomes so it's totally based upon you how to write the steps and sometimes what in real life scenarios you can find that one so the business team they are writing the scenarios and they will give to you or this is a very good thing that you can understand that you what you are what will be your test steps and scenarios you can write in a plain english text and you can share this file to anyone okay they can understand there and you can share with the business also to validate that okay these are the things i am going to test this is the way i am going to test so that uh, they can validate and they can tell you that okay you are doing the correct thing or if anything needs to be added or in any alteration is required okay so that's why it's very good thing actually to use the cucumber or use the bdd actually to use the flavor of bdd okay next is that scenario outline so scenario outline is that to give the test data how to provide the test data to use the test data we have to use scenario outline so if you give your start you are starting your scenario with a only scenario keyword and the colon so it's assuming that there will be a no step uh, though no extra test data okay and if you are starting with the scenario outline after writing the steps uh, test steps you can give uh, use the examples keyword and like the data table you can use okay and how to use the data table first row will be the title and uh, you can say not the title only you can say um, the uh, uh, text which you are going to use here in the test steps like that given i want to write the step with name so you are not giving any particular name here you want to pass the test data multiple test data you want to test okay 
So you have used like this, this under the angle bracket, you can give the text and use the same text as a title. Okay, same thing for this one. And once you will give the multiple set of text data like this in a table structure, so you don't have to take care of anything that if you have a list of test data like that 10, 10 test data you need to test for a single scenario. So you can just add those test data under the examples like uh, using this data table. Okay, and this scenario will automatically get uh, triggered for uh, with all the test data means that if you have a 10 number of rows with uh, 10 different test data. So this scenario will be run for 10 times with all the 10 uh, test data. Okay, 10 set of test data. So this is the way and another one is that one is a background keyword. If you need a uh, particular step should be run before each and every scenario, you can mention that one with a background keyword in the top okay like this and that scenario will automatically get triggered before each and every scenario okay so these are the keywords and it's very easy that these are already once you will create a feature file so it will auto automatically these things will get uh, written here okay and okay another one next thing is that one is tag this is a very important thing. So you can tag to use to make the group. Okay. So suppose you can mention this all scenario with uh, like that. We are mentioning that TC test case 001 like that. You can give a multiple tag also. And you can use like this sanity. Suppose you have a uh, 50 test scenarios and among that you need to run only 10 scenarios which is tagged with the sanity which is a part of a sanity testing. So you can mark all those things as a sanity with the tag sanity. So if you run that, uh, run your project with the tag name, uh, with the tag, you know, I'll show you that how to run with a tag, with a tag sanity. So it will automatically get triggered and you have a test cases or test scenarios of 2000 and you need to run a regression suit, which is uh, uh, 500 test cases you need to run for regression. You can mark all those test cases with the uh, tag name as a regression. So once you trigger with that uh, your test uh, test suit with a tag uh, regression, it will automatically get triggered. For it will run automatically for only for the test scenario which is tagged with uh, regression. Okay. So if you guys are facing any challenges or you are not able to understand anything, just do a comment on this video. I'll try to explain. Okay. And next is that okay. Uh, I have some scenario written with me. I'm not spending time on that. Those things I have already ready with me. Can use this thing. Next is that. I am creating a class test engine on If you guys don't have any idea and you guys are seeing watching my these videos first time, don't have idea how to create the what is test engine and how to use of test engine, just see the other videos. Okay, you will find the description you'll find in the description. Okay. Uh, for the testing you or you can search in you can see in my uh, channel that selenium with testing videos okay next is that i am creating another class which is called step steps. okay now what is steps so what is steps so if you can see that this will be your feature file where you will write all your test scenarios. But how code will understand what is this? Given I launch website using website name, what is this? This is, is understandable for other people, but for code, for Java, how they will understand what is this? How they will understand what is this? What is what I have to do? What Selenium will understand what I have to do? They didn't understand what they didn't understand this 
plain text language they need some java method or something like that so there there are these steps coming into the picture these are acting like a bridge actually okay these will be acting like a bridge between your feature file and your automation actual automation code here these steps uh, methods will be bridge between this one so once uh, the cucumber will run this line so it will try to find a method which will be uh, which will be linked with this particular line okay it will try to find it will be try to find in your into your uh, inside your code base the that particular method that method called step definitions method okay step definitions method it will try to find that particular method with this line if it is not available it will generate that one because of that cucumber plugins okay otherwise if that is available so it will go there automatically it will go there and it will if something is written inside that method it will try to run that one. okay if it is not there it will nothing it will do okay but that method will be the bridge okay and that is that method is called step definitions method and we will write all those step definitions method inside this class which i have given mentioned as a sample steps okay i don't have any method right now with me and i'll show you guys that how to generate that method okay to generate that method first what i have to do that i have to run that feature file okay how to run i will run this feature file using test engine how i will run this will be my test engine runner file and here i'll use cucumber options okay just write cucumber and then control space it will automatically come okay this is a tag i am going to use which is provided by cucumber java okay and this is for testing g you can find this one automatically it is imported um, just copying from there are a lot of things are available if there are a lot of things is you can add here here i have used tags features glue and plugins plugins there is nothing no plugins is available i can delete this one okay because this is empty already okay so inside the feature so you have to mention which tag you want to run if there is any tag or you can just leave it as a blank so it will run whole all the scenarios available inside your uh, code base otherwise you can mention using tag you can mention using comma and multiple tags so it will run multiple tags it can run okay and features so here you can give your particular feature file path or you can give the folder that's why i created the folder that features so this feature folder folder will uh, be the holder of all the feature files if you have a multiple feature files suppose in the real life scenario there will be a multiple feature files will be there okay and which feature and each feature files will consist multiple scenarios okay scenarios okay so that's why i have created a separate folder and you guys should follow this rule this one so it will help you guys instead of writing all the features inside the resource folder okay that's why i have given this folder path src test resources features and this is the glue glue means the step definitions okay so when we are this glue this is a parameter actually okay inside this cucumber at the cucumber options tag okay so in the glue you can give the particular step uh, file name this one or you can give the package name means the path folder path actually that's it okay so i can give this so inside that folder inside that package it will try to find it because in the real real life the, here for example this is a one um, file is java file is available but in the real life there will be multiple lot of set definitions file will be there okay so if you have written one uh, step is already there so it should not be right another time right so that's why it can be it can find multiple time so they can find multiple time so that's it and then you have to extend okay so what it will do it will try to find the 
it will convert actually these things uh, with the uh, each and everything with the test ng steps as uh, test ng test so it can be run as a test engine it will try to execute all of that scenarios test scenarios okay and then right click run as a test ng test oops it's failed why because nothing is available okay you can see that it is not able to find those things that's why it gets generated all the methods get generated the step division methods are not available i copied those things and i have pasted here but i can sh give you that one show you guys that one it's coming like this HTTP google dot com blah 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 it's like a bad thing so it's like why it's coming like a bad thing because i haven't passed this thing as a parameter so you have to give this inside the quotation double quote okay so that it can understand that instead of using this website name for first time you have to pass this one if you have a multiple thing it will pass that one suppose bing.com like that okay so it will run two times like this so when it will run so it will pass this one as a test data instead of website name okay so i will not going to use these things and suppose if i how it is under identifying that one because there is a no test method okay so there is a no method with the at the um, tag test for test ng how it is understanding that this is a test ng method so if i delete this one and try to run so this telling that there is no test ng method nothing it is not, not nothing is uh, no test methods found okay it's not able to find any test methods but if you add this one it will automatically find it will everything is written inside the test you come test anything actually so now i'll copy these things okay i'll show you the differences if you see the difference with these two methods so here i launch website using a blah 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 google.com with the so many things but here it's coming as a parameter as a string and here also in the method you can see that i launch website using there is a parameter so this is the bridge actually okay so this is act like a bridge so now i think you guys understand that when it will run this uh, this line it will automatically the details report class okay. so once you will it will run try to run this one this line so it will try to find this method with the tag this one okay the method so it will go inside this method and it will try to run whatever inside this method will be written okay i'm just deleting this one and now what i will do there is a thing available in cucumber that is before scenario and after before and after those tag those two tags are available it's same like a testing instead of using the test engine thing here i'm going to use the cucumber one public void setup third tag Before, which is available from cucumber and same thing um,
multiple methods you can see that these are the testing methods and uh, after all after okay after steps these are the things are available from the cucumber after steps means that after each and every steps what i'll do that i am using web driver manager to launch the chrome and everything if you don't have idea of what is web driver manager and how it, you can use that one pc my other t selenium tutorial with web driver manager okay so you can see that one so why i have written this driver initialization inside the uh, in um, inside the method steps because it's required before i am launching the url the web driver should be created so that's why i have put this one under the method steps and which is tagged as a before so before the scenario it will automatically get triggered it will driver will automatically get created and the once i will try so in my first line i what i am doing that i am launching the website so i'll launch i will launch the website then whatever the steps are available i'll do that so this is the way this is the thing and let's run this one now let's see how it will work. okay and please see that one here there is no so i have run this one so one time it launch the google and it closed because there is nothing so it got passed okay so this is the way next is that how to run from the testing xml first i have to create a testing xml from the folder level i'll create the testing xml file in the same level where the form is available you can create in any other uh, folder level if you want okay here what i have written that one that is this, i have given the suit name as a suit sample i can give the suit name if you don't have idea and what is suit what is test what is classes please see the test ng videos tutorial okay sample selenium cucumber qc okay and the class name. class name this is my class name and perfectly now it's time for to check the report okay just go to the folder right click on that one go to the properties you can see the location you can directly open from here the folder go inside the folder okay you can find go inside the test ng output here you can find the test ng report test ng level report you can find okay and now there is a bonus how to generate the cucumber report without any plugins okay there is a feature is available so here under the resources add a file cucumber dot properties okay and add this one okay so it will enable it will use it will enable to use the cucumber services to generate the cucumber report that will be a very cool report okay so let's run this one okay ok 
okay you can see your report is here in the log console log you can find this one this will be your report okay and copy this url this one will be so this is an online report but if you need your offline report that i'll show you in the different video okay so here you can see that one this is all the details you can find okay whatever that is key details and all you can find it. this is the online services from the cucumber okay 100 percent pass few seconds what all the details you can delete this one or you can okay so this is the way to use uh cucumber with selenium and testing g okay one more thing i just forgot that one how to run using maven go to the project level run as using maven test you can run using maven test okay because i have already added all the required profile and plugins so using this maven compiler plugin and the surefire plugins it will run to trigger the test can see these two things are mentioned here and how it is finding the test in GXML because I have mentioned here under the sure for plugins details okay I have mentioned my test in GXML and I have why I have created a text in G here because these two are in the same level that's why I have created here with this, this name test in GXML whatever the name you will give for your test in GXML give please use that name here to identify to give the opportunity to the POM file to identify Maven to identify the testing XML file. Okay, so this is it. This is the way how to use Cucumber with testing uh, Selenium and testing Okay, in my next video, I'll show you guys that how to create a proper framework to start your journey with Selenium. Okay, thank you for watching. And if you are new in my channel, please do not forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like this video, please share with others so that they can also learn from this video. And if you have any doubt, please do a comment on this video. I'll try to reply on that one. Okay. And you will find so many in you'll find all the details in the description. And also I'll share the code base with you guys also through the video. Thank you.